Hello everyone, welcome back to 591 Lab. Today's topic, we will learn about the Palo Alto Network Certified Security Engineer. And we will mostly cover about the PCNSE question review. And please watch the video until it's finished. Before we start, let me introduce you about the 591 Lab. 591lab.com is the top IT training and certification exam brand in China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Singapore. Our mission at 591lab is to provide our clients with exceptional exam preparation experience for certification in Cisco, Huawei, Aruba, Juniper, Palo Alto, and Fortinet exam track. If you have any queries or question about how to advance your technology career, Please don't hesitate to contact us at 591lab.com. Today, we will be covering uh, some several uh, topics from the PCNSE exam objective. The key topics will be discussed included uh, panorama capabilities, panorama templates, panorama device group, and panorama security policy hierarchy. So basically, today's agenda is about the panorama. Let's go to the first question about the PCNSE exams. The first questions are, what are the three tasks that cannot be configured from panorama by using a template tag? Choose three. The option for the answer are A. Rename a physics on multi physics firewall or B, enable operational modes such as normal mode, multi physics mode, or FIPS CC mode, or C, change the firewall management IP address, or D, configure a device block list, or E, add administrator account. So basically to answer this question, you need to understand uh, which uh, configuration can be managed by panorama template or which the configuration that only able to be configured from the firewall. So basically the uh, Palo Alto already released the capability that uh, can be configured from Panorama and the exception that can only be managed from the firewall itself. The first one is the configured uh, device block list. So device block list can only be configured using the firewall interface yeah so it answered the question which is uh, D and then clear locks the clear locks only be able to be uh, configured from the firewall and then enable operational modes such as normal mode multi physics mode or FIP SEC mode this is the second answer and then configure the IP address of firewalls in an HA pair and then configure a master key and diagnostic and compare configuration file or config audit and then renaming a physics on multi physics firewall so renaming a multi physics is only be able to configure from the firewall itself not from panorama so the answer would be A, B and D so this is uh, the answer for the question number one next let's go to question number two question number two is an administrator notice that an interface configuration has been offered locally on a firewall they require all configuration to be managed from panorama and offrights are not allowed what is one way the administrator can meet these requirements the options for the answer are a perform a template commit push from panorama using the force template value option or b perform a commit force from the cli of the firewall or c reload the running configuration and perform a firewall local commit or D perform a device group commit push from panorama using the include device and network template option so to answer this question I will 
show you the some sample of the commit push on the panorama. So on the right screen, this is I have the capture from the screen of the panorama configuration to push the configuration from panorama to firewall. So basically we can force the force template value to override everything that uh, firewall has uh, replaced to match the configuration that uh, config from the panorama. So the answer would be uh, A. We use the force template value to uh, push the configuration from panorama and override what is uh, being configured on the firewall. So the answer for this second question is A. Perform a template commit push from panorama using the force template value option. Let's go to the question number three. The question number three is an administrator is attempting to create policies for deployment of a device group and template stack. When creating the policies, the zone dropdown list doesn't include the required zone. What must the administrator do to correct this issue? The options are A. Specific specify the target device as the master device in the device group or b add the template as reference template in the device group or c add a firewall to both the device group and the template or d enable share and use address and service object with device in panorama setting so how we can uh, answer this question basically we need to find the reference of the configuration option from the palo alto and the palo alto said that the we must assign the appropriate template or template stack reference to the device group in order to successfully associate the template or template stack to the device group so with uh, this is allowing us to reference the object configured in the template or template stack without adding unrelated device to a template stack so basically any uh, configuration that we have configured on the template or template stack can be used on the reference on the device group until we assign those templates or template stack to the appropriate device group so i will show you how we how we can uh, add the reference on the panorama so basically here is the panorama dashboard yeah panorama dashboard so uh, when you you have to uh, add the template or template stack into the reference of the device group you need to go on the panorama and then on the left menu we can find the device group on the device group, you will see the list of the device group that you created. Uh, for example, this one is device group named demo. And on this demo, it have two reference of template. It is uh, uh, this template we can add or we can remove any uh, template. We can add the template or template stack to our uh, needs. So this is basically how we can configure the the zone on the device group. So the answer will be uh, B. Yeah. Add the template as reference template in the device group. So this is the answer for the question number three. That is, we need to add the template or reference template in the device group. So we can use any object that we create on the template and we can uh, use it on the device group configuration.
Okay, let's go to the next question. Question number four. Question number four, we have a screenshot about the panorama configuration. Based on the screenshot above, what is the correct order in which the various roles are deployed to the firewall inside the data center underscore DG device group? So we have this uh, screenshot here. Yeah. This is uh, the device group list, and then the next is uh, policy that has been configured on the data center DG underscore DG, and the next is policy that configured on the shared uh, device group. So, how uh, the firewall reads the rules on which correct order? The option to the answer are A. Share three rules, then data center underscore DG pre rules, rules configured locally on the firewall, data center underscore DG post rules, share post rules, share default rules, or B, share pre rules, data center DG pre rules, rules configured locally on the firewalls, data center underscore DG post rules, share post rules. Data center DG default rules or C share pre rules data center DG pre rules rules configured locally on the firewall share post rules data center underscore DG post rules share default rules or D share pre rules data center underscore DG pre rules rules configured locally on the firewalls share post rules data center underscore DG post rules, data center underscore DG default rules. So which option that is most uh, correct to the order of the policy that reads on the firewalls inside the data center underscore DG device group. So to understand uh, how the policy works on the panorama, you need to understand that the panorama has a policy hierarchy, yeah? hierarchy that uh, read from the uh, above to the next uh, rules as defined as follows so the first uh, rules that, that we will be used is the pre rules and then uh, local firewall rules and then post rules and then default rules so so basically uh, any any device group any device group yeah. see this is a device group it will contain uh, some of these uh, rules either is has uh, pre rules as local firewalls as post rules and the default rules so uh, so i will i will i will show you uh, on the dashboard to make you more understand so we can show we can see here yeah we can see the policy yeah? we go to the policy we go to the policy and then on the policy we can choose some of the device group so we have the several device group here we know that uh, share device group is the parent of the demo device group so if we click on the demo we can see the rules that configured on the demo so here the highlight one, the yellow one, yellow one. This is the rules that uh, configured on the shared device group. So the shared device group is a, a policy that configured on the device shared device group. Also, use on the demo device group. As you can see, that is the sequence. The number one is from the shared device group and the second is from the pre rules and then on the post rules this is uh, the post rules that you can configure on the device group and then the basically the default rules is uh, default predefined that is come from the uh, Palo Alto which is for the intrazone and the interzone uh, default rule so so basically you will uh, understand that this uh, hierarchy is correct which is the pre rules 
local firewall rules and then the post rules and the default rules so to answer the question we can check that the correct answer is the a chair pre rules will be in the first policy and then the data center underscore dg pre rules which will be in the second uh, rules for policy and then the if the firewall have the locally uh, rules it will read the rules configured locally on the firewalls and then it will read the data center underscore dg post rules and then it will read the share post rule policy and the default rules so basically the answer for question number four is a So let's conclude uh, to this session, yeah. Uh, what we learned today for uh, today class at 591 Lab is we have understand the concept of the panorama capability. We have understand the concept of the panorama templates and template stacks. And then we understand how we configure the device group and how the security policy hierarchy works on the device group at panorama. So that is conclude our training for today. I hope you found this overview of PC NSA exam topic helpful. And be sure to check out the 591lab.com for more online course, practice exam, and training material to continue your certification preparation. You can also visit www.591cert.com to learn more about our full suite of services. Thanks. Thank you all for joining today class and I wish you the best of luck and your certification journey. Good day.